Prime Minister recently inspected forces who will form part of the spearhead of attack when the signal for our greatest operation is given. Among them, he inspected American paratroops and, of course, addressed them on the subject of the fateful tasks that lie ahead. This was just before his broadcast to the nation, of which the closing sentences are a summary of the situation as it is at this moment. A moment when fully trained, magnificently equipped Anglo-American forces await that signal for the grand assault. The hour of our greatest effort and action is approaching. We march with valiant allies who count on us as we count on them. The flashing eyes of all our soldiers, sailors and airmen must be fixed upon the enemy on their front. The only homeward road for all of us lies through the arch of victory. The magnificent armies of the United States are here or are pouring in. Our own troops, the best trained and best equipped we have ever had, stand at their side in equal numbers and in true comradeship. And when the signal is given, the whole circle of avenging nations will hurl themselves upon the foe and batter out the life of the cruelest tyranny which has ever sought to bar the progress of mankind. Mr. Churchill gave us the general picture, but this film deals with just one aspect of the scene, paratroops. Using aircraft of the 9th United States Air Force Troop Carrier Command, C-47s, they demonstrated the dropping of a fairly large force of combat troops in a specified area. When the time comes, it'll be the task of these men to put enemy airfields out of action, to block reinforcements, and generally create havoc in the German defense system. Very great advances have been made in the technique of dropping a paratroop force. At the moment, they're approaching the selected area, and apparently smoking is quite in order. Then comes the order, stand up and hook up and they hook onto the line which will jerk open their parachutes when they jump. There's the instructor. The men regard that half-smoked cigar of his as a mascot. In a second, he'll be leading them on their way down. They certainly know the drill. Watch the speed with which they get out. And notice how close together they keep as they come down. Here's the instructor again, filming himself as he floats to earth. jumped from only about 500 feet, they're pretty soon down. Just before landing, they let go their equipment and drop it clear. equipment is dropped on its own and obviously the degree of accuracy with which it's dropped controls the speed at which the force can go into action. This is only a glimpse of Allied paratroops demonstrating their preparedness for the day. And paratroops of course are but one item in a colossal program. Call it the second front, call it invasion, call it what you will, it's on the way. And our task at home will be not merely to salute our fighting men but to support them with everything we've got. <laughs> 